this is the story of what I've come to call my shoebox bees. Uh, it all started um, at our honey show at Berkeley Park in September when I was approached by a lady uh, from Chelliston in Derby who said she got a problem in her garden with what she thought were honeybees. Um, when I went there I found a, a purpose-made a box that, that her son had bought for her to attract bumblebees. It was about the size of a shoe box, which is where the name comes from, and it had a hole in one end, and there was no question it had been occupied by honeybees that were flying in and out quite busily. Um, at her request, I took the, uh, the, I took the, the box away uh, to see if I could rescue what was inside. And when I lifted the lid off, I found that about a third of the box was occupied by this small colony uh, that had built uh, a whole uh, mass of, of wild uh, honeycomb which they were living in. There was obviously no chance that they were going to um, uh, survive the winter in this box and so what I did was to transfer them into a nucleus box in a rather, uh, what shall we say, uh, ad hoc way. Um, I took two frames, uh, what I call drawn frames of, of, of deep frames of, of foundation um, with some food on, cut a section out in, in, in the middle uh, and reinforced the, the, the frame with some thin timber slats and then, assisted by my good friend and beekeeper Bob Hurd, we lifted the small um, pieces of honeycomb out of the shoe box, put them onto the prepared frames and held them in position with more timber slats and then the two frames we dropped inside this what I call a nucleus box together with some more drawn foundation. Because by this time it was in, into October I had serious doubts whether, whether they would uh, survive the winter but I fed them with syrup and uh, uh, as much syrup as I could and then we have to leave it to mother nature and of course we've had the worst winter for many many years and it, although it may seem a joke, I actually took this nucleus box into the greenhouse to give them some extra protection. But we're now at um, the 1st of January 2011, and thank goodness they are still alive. Uh, and we've, I've got to see them through the next months. But I really do hope that they survive the winter and, and I can make a colony out of them next year. Um, and uh, they are, they, they're still alive. You want to come a bit closer, Lily? And I put some fondant on which they are happily uh, eating, as you can see. OK, so it's a question of watch this space and let us see if we have uh, a successful uh, colony next year.